All right, guys, good morning to you. It's about 8 o'clock, and today I am on my Pit Boss uh, ABS rotisserie. Yeah, so, so far, I'm using, I'm using my pellet grill today. I've got it running at 225, that's something like 230. Okay, and I actually got this thing set. Okay, it's at 225, but I got the little black, this little knob up here. Uh, if you turn it, to uh, two, so I got it on two. I'm gonna put it on three for right now because what's gonna happen, uh, it goes from one to 15. So I got it on three where it's gonna run, you know, 15 seconds, okay? And then it's gonna shut off. It's gonna shut the pellet system off, the auger system for, I think it was 65 seconds and then it'll turn it back on. And then lower you go like four, it'll shut off even longer, like 80 seconds, okay? So that's a good feature too, if you wanna have some extra smoke, okay? Even though it does have a smoke mode, which you can control it a little bit better by the by the uh, programming, okay? All right, so let's say, let's go ahead and look in here. Man, this mug is smoking. I like this thing. All right, so Pit Boss, it does have a, other systems. It has, I can run it off, you know, propane, straight wood, uh, straight charcoal, or just straight propane, all right? Or a combination of both. But if you look at the bottom, you see the pellet system. At the, uh, there you go, at the bottom. So it's actually giving a good sear too as the rotisserie goes around and putting up some great smoke on this chicken, okay? And I usually use a chicken, I mean, uh, a pellet smoker okay, for either preheating uh, or just for my chicken or small cuts of meat when I don't want to throw in Know, charcoal and stuff like that, or you know, lump charcoal. But uh, this gives this gives us gives, gives, uh, a uh, some great smoke on it, especially if you put it on smoke mode. Okay. See, that one right that's really you probably can't see it, but it's reading right at 300 degrees. But it's going to set a wind, it's going to set a wind, it's, it's going to go up probably 50 degrees past your set point at 225, and then it'll come back down. In the back, you see I got my baffle closed, which is back where the charcoal basket is. I'm gonna hold up around there and see that too. All right, so that one's reading. What's that reading? Right there, you see it? There we go. Just below 300 degrees. Now this was quick. Focus in now. Uh -oh. There we go. I mean, to come out here to turn this on, man, it was quick. It was fast. Got the got the pit up the quickly. You know, that's the reason why I got the. Uh, uh, that's the reason why I got the, the propane assist too. Okay, very easy system to operate. And that's just the control box. So I tilt it down a little bit. There we go. All right, very simple. And then the uh, the basket. Here we go. I did a cook yesterday, and man, it worked. It thing worked great. You know, so that's the, uh, the propane burn, propane burn on the bottom. And I, ran, and I ran lump and I ran wood at the same time. Okay. And of course, this is the baffle system where you want the heat or the smoke to go into it. You can see that there we go, right here. Okay. All right, very simple. Yeah, I love this thing, man. It works pretty good. Come on now, settle down. I got this new fangle gimbal. Trying to figure out how to operate it. <laughs> okay. All right, there we go. But let's go ahead and look, at, we look inside the, uh, the pellet hopper too. Let's get this thing just right. Okay. This thing don't want to go down. There we go. That's the pellet system there. And this is a 20 pound hopper. And this is just some competition, competition blend, a mixture of you know, cherry, uh, maple, hickory, uh, some other stuff that's in there too. Come on, let's see. All right, so I think that's about it on this, on this cook. I don't like this thing. All right, let's see. Open up one more time, and then I'm gonna close this up, try to get this chicken done probably within an hour or so. Get in there, I'm trying to fix this. All right. 
Beautiful.